Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and welcome back. Today I have a card for you featuring products by Altenew. Altenew has a 6 year anniversary and they celebrate with a lot of giveaways, lots of inspiration. Make sure to visit my blog to find all about it. And when it comes to celebrating Altenew, I just had to make a card using flowers. Instead of using stamping for my card today, I will do lots of die cutting and I will be using this die cut. This is called Open Bloom 3D die set and creates different layers that you can stack one on top of the other to create your flowers and leaves. I'm going to start with my background first and I have here a 4 quarter by 5 and a half white panel and I'm going to place on top the framed thanks die. I absolutely love this one because not only it creates a window, it creates kind of a frame where you can uh, tuck your focal points there but at the same time it adds a sentiment. I am removing the die very carefully and I will uh, keep all those pieces. But I'm not going to use this tiny little frame, instead I'm going to run this die one more time through my die cutting machine, but this time with gold foiled cardstock. I'm also going to prepare one more piece so that I can uh, do both of them with one passing through my die cutting machine, I'm using my Gemini here by the way. So I'm going to use this white frame that I have cut out and I'm going to put on top one of the cover dies by Altenew, this is the dotted starburst debossing cover die. It's not going to cut out anything, it's just going to add a lovely detail on top of my frame and uh, it is going to give a subtle texture on my background. It is actually adding little dots of that uh, beautiful design. And you can see that I have also die cut that uh, very delicate little frame that has the word thanks on top of it. Now I have another scrap piece of white cardstock that I'm going to cover up completely with uh, double sided tape. This way I can remove the backing and then I can stick on top and put together all my pieces. So first I'm putting down the frame with a lovely stitched detail all around, then I'm going to be very careful and stick down that uh, very delicate little golden frame. Now this uh, double sided tape is not very forgiving so I have to be very careful as I put everything down, if I make a mistake it's going to be really difficult to remove it. Now I'm going to put back all the left pieces and everything is going to fit perfectly inside, just like a puzzle. So my background is ready and here is a closer look where you can probably see better the lovely design that I have as well as the beautiful and elegant golden detail of the frame and the sentiment. So here is the Open Blooms die set and you can see the layers on the packaging, I'm going to remove all of them from the package and then I'm going to follow the directions. For uh, cutting out everything I will use this cardstock by Altenew. There are many different sets of uh, different colors, these are the gradient cardstock sets and uh, the green one that I'm using here is the green meadows. I can see that my leaves only need two layers so I'm going uh, with the middle and the darker one. And as you can see I like to keep them in these pouches and I keep all the leftovers, I can always use them for another project. Now for the flower I can see that I need three colors again, you can go with four if you like, but uh, I decided to go just with three and uh, for that I'm going with the Cherry Blossom Gradient Cardstock set and I will omit the darkest of the four colors from this set. So all I'm doing here is just checking out the guideline, placing the dies on the cardstock that I need to cut it out. And now uh, we'll have everything ready to go. If you have a big die cutting machine with a big bed, you can run everything through. Just for the example here, I'm just uh, going to run them through the mini big blossom so that you can see a part of the die cutting on camera. Now the die cutting machine that I'm using is again the mini big blossom, it is a die cutting machine by Altenew, it's small and cute and really handy, especially when you want to cut out small pieces like these ones, plus the gradient cardstock by Altenew is designed to fit inside that machine, so you don't have to do any cutting with your scissors at all. So I'm going to run everything through that. And then I'm going to start sticking one on top of the other, again just following the guidelines on the packaging. 
For sticking all the layers, I'm using my Nouveau Deluxe glue just because when it dries, it uh, completely disappears. So if I have some glue going outside of the pieces, it's not going to matter at all. Also, it has a very thin nib and it grabs cardstock really quickly so you don't have to wait. Plus, I prefer using uh, liquid glue when sticking uh, layers one on top of the other because I can always slide them and make sure that they are at the perfect position, which is something that I wouldn't do if I was using a tape runner. Now, for my flower, I chose to go just like the guidelines from lighter to darker color, but of course you can use the opposite and uh, start from uh, darker and go all the way to the lighter cardstock, it's up to you, you will get completely different results and they all look just gorgeous. Now, of course, you can add even more colors if you want. Some of them, like these pieces, could be really darker than the ones that I'm using here. And uh, another way to go would be to cut out everything from white cardstock and then just use your markers or any other favorite coloring medium to color in all the different pieces. And as I'm putting the flower together, I just need to let you all know to make sure and visit my blog. Altenew has been really generous celebrating their 6th anniversary. They have tons and tons of giveaways and you will find all the details about them on my blog. And uh, also there are many other companies and crafty friends who are sponsoring this uh, blog hub. Plus, many talented designers are posting uh, videos as well as photos of their projects, so you will definitely find something to inspire you. And here is my flower ready to go. Absolutely gorgeous. And this is going to be my focal point. So I'm just going to stick it down. I'm going for a very clean and simple looking card, but at the same time I find it really elegant. I used foam squares at the back of my flower to pop it on my card and now I'm attacking underneath the leaves. Now this flower is looking stunning and it is the perfect focal point for an elegant card and it would look beautiful in other color combinations as well. Now to finish off my card I'm adding a few clear gems on the flower. They are going to look as droplets and it's going to make it looking more dimensional and fresh. And here are some close-up photos on the finished project for today. So I hope that you had fun, that you got inspired. Thank you all for spending some time with me today. And until next time, stay safe.